This is a quick video for discoverdigitalphotography.com to show you how to use the image slicing script to create a slit scan style photo. Um, and this is the version for Mac and Linux. So I'm on the website here and got the image slicer.sh um, script here that I'm going to download. So let's click on that. There we go, that's um, saved that. Um, now before you run the script you need to have Image Magic installed and you can download that from the Image Magic website um, and it's got versions for Mac and uh, Linux on there. So once you've downloaded and installed that, I've already got that installed and you've got the um, script downloaded from here. Um, there it is, it's saved it to my desktop. Now to run it for Mac and Linux, um, unfortunately unlike Windows you can't just drag the folder onto it um, to save it, but um, instead you need to run it through Terminal. So on a Mac you go to Applications, then Utilities, and then Terminal. Um, on Linux here and go to Accessories and then Terminal. Just wait for that to load up. And the first thing I need to do is to make the script executable. So you only need to do this the first time. Um, before I do that, I need to um, move to the folder where it's saved to. So it's saved on my desktop. So I do CD, that stands for Change Directory, and then Desktop. And now it's on the Desktop folder. Um, then chmod plus x and then image slicer.sh and that's made the image slicer script so it's executable now so you can um, run it as a script instead of it just opening as a text file um, right so we're still on the desktop so we can do dot slash image slicer and then a space and then just need to find the folder that we want to use. Got that in here. Here's my folder with all the different images in. So I'm just going to move that down there. And then I'm going to drag the folder into the terminal. And as you can see, that just um, types the path where the folder of images is. And then press Enter to run the script. And um, this is going to take quite a while, so I'm just going to pause the video now. Right, so the script has finished processing the images now. And if we go back over to the directory of images, <coughs> we've got a folder in here called Files now that we didn't have before. And I might have to pause the video again um, while it loads up the thumbnails for all the files now. Okay, I think that's finished loading now. Um, and if we go to the end of these files, and you can see here this is the um, fully processed version that's gone through all the images. And it's um, done them in sequence, so you can create a video out of these if you want. So you can see the slit scan effect um, working on the images. So that's sort of the first one where there's no effect at all. If we go about halfway down, then you can see there half of the image has been processed. And then obviously the last one it's fully processed. So you can put these um, images into a sequence if you want to show the um, image becoming processed. Or if you just want the fully processed one, then you can just delete all of them apart from the last one and keep that. Um, so I think that's it really. So it's just um, it's slightly more difficult to use because you have to use the terminal. But um, hopefully, if you want to use a um, the slit scan script on Mac or Linux, then this should work for you. If you have any problems, you can always contact me via the website or send an email to info at discoverdigitalphotography.com. Thanks.